Hello everyone and welcome back to another Universe Sandbox video and today we are doing another object competition. So today we are going to be doing the Terraform Planets competition but before we uh, get into that we've got to go over the results of last week. So um, looking at the votes here it turns out that um, Error XD here, I'm just going to call you that from now on so I don't keep messing your name up every video but yeah he took the win by 8 votes and demolished the competition um, with his object here. So massive well done to him, first ever win um, for him with um, the object competition. So yeah. Yeah, this is the uh, winning object from last week with Toy 700D. And then in second place, we had um, Mad Planet, guys. So that was this one. So this was second. And then third place, we had uh, Mr. Missalot um, with his um, object over here. So yeah, massive well done to those uh, three for getting the uh, top three positions. But yeah, with that all out of the way, we'll go ahead and uh, just remove all of these now as we head on to today's object. So this one you can be a little more creative with. It's a terraformed object, so it can be any object you want. It just has to be terraformed. That's like the uh, only really regulation for this one. So here they all are here. I haven't spawned any in there. I've just had them all set up. Right. So let's see, um, let's see what we've got here. So first off, we've got a Nominus's one. First time he's uh, been back. You haven't seen him since the original competition. So yeah, he came back to make this uh, terraformed object here. And he also sent a unofficial submission in as well. So this object you can't vote for, but he sent that in to um, just show off um, and share. So yeah, anyways, the main object he sent in here is one of the old prime objects. These are what these are the crazy cloud objects, if I remember right. So yeah, looking very nice indeed. It looks to have some sort of tint going on underneath. So let's have a look underneath its. Um... So there we go. So it looks to have a bluish tint on it because that ocean does look a little more blue than normal. The uh, polar caps slightly have a slight blue tint to them as well. We've got a nice dark green uh, landscape there, looking very nice indeed. And I put obviously the atmosphere all back on there. There we go. There's the object. So if we check it, uh, we'll check its stats. Since it's a terraformed object, we'll check the stats on these. So we've got 91 and 58, or 55, sorry, 0.8. Right, there we are. And then his unofficial submission. So, yeah, keep in mind, you won't be able to vote for this one. He just sent it in to, for us to check out. So, here it is here. So, Naru Prime. This is his one. Um, look at that around the back. Looks like it has one of the custom textures on it, I want to say. If we look underneath the clouds and all that. So, there we go. That's what it looks like. Pretty interesting. It's almost like glowing as well. No tint on this one. It just seems to have some crazy modding on it. Um, to uh, make it appear like that. It looks cool when you rotate it. It goes from purple to pink in the daytime. Very nice indeed. So there is uh, Anominus' one. So we'll just remove that one though since this is his proper submission. So there we go. That is the first object of the day. Right, next up we got Blue Boy's one here. So let's see what he has made for us. This looks to be a terraform Mars. Let's uh, see down here. It appears to be a Mars with a greenish tint like a vegetation. I remember these objects back in the day. Hey. So yeah, it's a Mars. Yep greenish sort of color and to make it look more terraformed obviously nice white clouds on it as well and yeah there is the result see this is this is how i wish mars looks in the modern versions of the game whenever you fill it up with water this is how i think it should look but in the modern version of the game we saw yesterday in the video i uploaded when we put water on mars it didn't look the same and it doesn't look as right but i think this is how mars should look when you put water on it but yeah there we go so there is his uh terraformed mars any city lights yes we have got some city lights there they are around the back there very nice indeed Alrighty, next up we got Siren's object here, so let's see um, what he has prepared for us here, it's looking um, very nice, got like a um, what's a mint sort of colour green um, atmosphere on it, uh, it's a Pluto as well, terraformed actually Pluto, very nice, right, so if we look underneath uh, atmosphere and clouds, it's got a, a slight greenish vegetation tint to it, um, by the looks of it there, also got some city lights around the back as well, there we are, looking good, so there is his terraformed Pluto, very nice, I'm liking it, look at that. Right, so there we go. That is uh, Siren's one. Right, now moving on, we've got uh, Error XD again. So the winner of last um, competition. So let's see what he has got for us here. So TG387, that is the Goblin, a Terraform version of the Goblin. So if we look around, there it is there. If we, uh, we'll lower the water a bit just so we can see a bit more. It looks to be like a uh, one of the default textures, I want to say. I'm not sure what texture that is. Is it a moon, maybe? I think it may be the moon. I'm not sure what texture that is. But yeah, there we go. So let's add the water back on it, how it should be. So there we go. And actually, I didn't check the stats on the previous one. So this one's got 47. I did I did change it, though. So we'll spawn it in again just to check its stats um, right out of the box. So 47 and 3.13. Okay, so uh, yeah, I did change it slightly. So yeah, 47, 3.13. Right there. And then um, on Pluto here, this was 90 and 39. So that was Siren's one. And then on the Mars here, so this was... Let's see... 84 and 64 okay so there they are there righty now moving on we have got mad planet guys one so it's a terraformed basketball out of all things look at this thing right 
Check this out. I mean, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty out of the world. I mean, it's got some nice glowing clouds on it as well. Same size as Earth. I'm guessing it's going to have very high stats. Yeah, 100 on both of them. All right. Wow. Right. So there we are. Let's um, look underneath. So Terraform Basketball. So he's given it a height map, I believe, to make it look like this. It's got some city lights. All like that's quite cool how they're all on the uh, different little spots on it. That's that is pretty cool. So yeah, they're terraformed basketball. Remember the regulation was terraformed. Doesn't matter what you terraform. <laughs> it's a terraformed basketball. <laughs> right there we go. There. Uh, next up we've got a uh, Thai or Goombas one. However, however you want to call him now. So here we go. So this is V Y Canis Majoris terraformed. So check this out. Very nice um, atmosphere color on it. Nice orange, a fiery hot orange color. If we check the stats on this one. Uh, 98 and 91 there so yeah pretty high stats on it. it's made of a lot of iron as you saw there as well if we look underneath um blah, blah, so let's go underneath there we go so terraformed canis majora's got some little islands around it appears to be mostly an ocean world but yeah i really like that atmosphere on top of it there looking good all righty uh moving on next up we've got uh this one here this is from the user core so here we go here and we've got a lot of our submissions there massive thank you to everyone who um submitted yeah this is i think this is the highest we've had since we uh, brought this series back so yeah very nice indeed everyone massive thank you for submitting the objects so there we go all right uh let's see the stats on here 96 and 48 so there we go there so that is his one so it's a nice good old uh green land bit of color blending it looks like it may have some yellow on the surface um where is it? Temperature. Oh, no, was it... Uh, where, oh, the, uh, the appearance was down here in the old version, so it's got like a creamy sort of yellow colour for the uh, beach area, giving that, that sort of paler colour there. Alrighty, I was looking in the temperature and uh, composition and atmosphere, trying to find the colours, but no, they're in the overview. They're here. Remember when they used to be here? Because, yeah, we are in update 23.2 for this, as it is a rocky planet competition, because we like to have all of the modern stuff. Right, now moving on, we have got Mr. Missilot's terraformed Venus. So here is what he has prepared for us today. So... Oh, okay. I, I think I remember this. I think it's got an earth, an earth texture on it, on a Venus height map. I think it is. So if we look underneath the atmosphere and clouds, so yeah, you can sort of see this looks to be where Australia was, but it's on a Venus landscape. So it's yeah, the Earth's the Earth's texture on a Venus landscape, and it's looking really cool, isn't it? I mean, yeah, I, I remember this from back in the day. I think this is one that was made years ago. But yeah, look at that. So you can sort of see roughly where South America is, North America up there, but it's all on the Venus texture, making it quite an interesting looking object there. And obviously with the uh, clouds on, I think it um, goes together very nicely indeed. So there is Mr. Missilots. And then lastly, we have got uh, Wasp Poppins, uh, terraformed Io. So let's see what he's got for us here. Right, all the way down here. Right, hello, Io. So we're appearing to be mostly ocean. Have we got any land? Uh, looks like we may have to remove some of the oceans. Remember, there's a little too much... Uh, there we go, so there we go, that's a roughly yeah, better look at it with the land there. Unless he intended it for all, to be a all water world. But yeah, that is the terraformed Io. So if we check the stats on you, I did interrupt them a bit, but yeah, 71 and 40. Uh, Mr. Missilots was 97 and 71. Uh, this was Core's one, wasn't it? Um, yeah, th this was Core. So yeah, their one is 96 and 48.1. Uh, VY Canis Majoris from uh, Goomba here. This was um, 98 and 91. So we've got some high stat objects in it. And obviously, my planet, guys, yeah, we, we started from there. So, yeah, very nice objects indeed here. And, yeah, very nice lineup of objects. I think um, it's going to be quite a hard one in the voting today. So I look forward to seeing um, which one wins this. Because I think this is going to be quite a tight one. This I think this is going to be a hard one for everyone to pick a winner. Because remember, you guys all pick the votes in my Discord server. You will vote. I don't have any input on the votes or anything like that. So let's just make them all bigger before we uh, finish up uh, today's competition. So there we go. And we'll go through them all once uh, more as well. But let's just uh, get them all up to uh, correct size first. So they're all roughly matching. So yeah, roughly, roughly. I think I made this one a little too large. So let's just uh, make it a tad little smaller. Uh, we'll drag them all out, and then we can go um, go through them all once more and uh, highlight them all. So there we go. Uh, they're all lined up nicely. That's yeah, that's roughly um, the size. Right. So starting off over here again, the one we started with, we had um, Anominus's um, Tustin Prime object over here. So this one had good stats as well, if I remember. Yeah, 91.55. So yeah, there was his one. This one had the, the bluish tint on it. So yeah, that was Anominus's one. Then moving on to Blue Boy's one, he had the Terraform Mars with the green vegetation on it, making it look very nice and a lot better than the version in the current modern version of the game there, just the way the height map on it works. So there we go, very nice. Then we had Siren's Terraform Pluto here with a nice mint green atmosphere on it. Pluto had some vegetation on it below there as well, giving it a slight tint colour as well. So there we go. 
then we had um, the terraformed goblin here. This is from uh, Era XD. So yeah, there we go. There is his um, terraformed goblin. I think it had a moon texture. Rough. I'm, guess, I'm guessing that's the moon. Maybe maybe it's Mercury. I'm not sure. Then we have Mad Planet Guy's terraformed basketball <laughs> out of all things, which is just crazy. So yeah, there, there's a look at it there. All right, and that one had 100% on both stats. Um, then moving on, we had uh, Goomba's terraformed VY Canis Majoris right there. So there is Goomba's one. And moving on, we had a uh, cause terraformed two object here. So going with the nice um, pale colours blending in there with the green. So there's his one. Then we had Mr. Mislot's terraformed Venus with an earth texture on the Venus height map with a nice like mint green sort of atmosphere colour as well there. Emerald green, however you want to call it. So there we go. It also had some city lights as well. Earth, earth city light map as well, which is pretty cool. So there we go. And then finishing off, we had um, What's Poppins terraformed IO. So... Yeah, there we go, guys. But again, if you would like to vote for these objects, make sure to join my Discord server. Link in the description, and then there'll be a whole chat for it. Competition vote. I'll put all of the reactions, and then you can just vote for them um, that way. So yeah, good luck with everyone in the competition. I hope you've all enjoyed uh, checking out these objects as well. I think this was a really good one. I really enjoyed checking all these out. So yeah, massive thank you to uh, the nine guys for sending in um, their objects um, as well. So yeah, we had nine people this time. I think that's a record for the most we've had in this uh, remastered series. And yeah, this is the remastered terraformed object because we did do a terraformed object um, before. So yeah, this is like the terraformed um, remastered competition. So yeah, hopefully you guys have all enjoyed that. And if you did, make sure to hit that like button. Uh, let's see, we go for 30 likes for the uh, terraformed object competition today, and also uh, subscribe for more helps on the journey to 17,000. As I believe we may be there. I'm not. I, I mean, if we're not, we are very, very close. So I'll just have a little peek right now. Uh, let's see what it says. It says 17, but I'm not too sure on that because it just rounds it up. Let me check the, uh, just check in the, uh, curator thing. Yes, we have hit 17, actually. So, a massive thank you to you all for that. Yeah, I only noticed that just now as I was filming. So, yeah, huge thank you, everyone, for 17,000 subscribers. And, yeah, make sure to subscribe on the journey to 18,000 now. That's going to take time to get used to. But, yeah, massive thank you, um, to you all for that. And, yeah, that all said and done, guys. Good luck in the competition, everyone. And, yeah, make sure we have a great day. Stay safe out there. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.